Sincerely, sincerely apologize for being two days late. I'm only supposed to be one day late. Like on Tuesday, I'm only supposed to be one day late. So I really apologize for getting this video out so late, y'all. It has been so hectic with life and being in grad school on Mondays now from 5 to 9.30 p.m. So it really has been a lot with this week with work and all of the good stuff. All right, so now... If you have not subscribed to my channel, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'll wait. I'll wait. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, yeah. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's start off with some positivity because we need it today. Y'all, after one, two, three, four episodes, guess what? Matt has finally learned how to kiss a little bit. Yay, Matt, yay. Take a look at this kiss with Piper. Look at it, look at it. His lips are in sync, his eyes are closed like Matt. <laughs> I'm proud. I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud, Maddie. Maddie Matt. Yes. So he is finally learned how to kiss y'all. And I just feel like the big sister that has been waiting on this moment. Period. Okay. Now, this one girl really stuck out to me this episode in the beginning of the show. And her name is, drumroll please, Chelsea. Y'all, Chelsea has really opened up this episode. She was very vulnerable when she talked about her hair and how back in school she used to have to always straighten her hair and all of that good stuff because, I mean, she went to a majority white school and she got talked about, I mean, having this type of hair was just not it. It needs to be straight. And I feel her on that. Like, man, her connected, y'all. We connected. And that's why I'm her like this today because Kelsey... Girl, you empowered me. You, you empowered me for real. You really empowered me. Cause like, I used to go to all way school too. I used to have to straighten my hair and all that good stuff. Because, I mean, I was the only, you know, black girl there with hair like this. So yes, I felt you. I felt you on that girl. And Matt gave her the group date rose, y'all, and I am so ecstatic about that. Like, that really made me happy and made me start cheesing. Cheese. Cheesing. Okay, so, in the beginning of the episode, Katie and Victoria got into an argument because Victoria wants Katie to apologize. And Katie, like, I'm not apologizing. I'm not apologizing to you. Apologize to you for what? Apologize to you for what? Yes, I said apologize, okay? Because Katie, she was holding it down. She was not playing with Victoria. Victoria feel like she, she should apologize for stopping her from bullying, pretty much. Katie wasn't gone. And Katie, kudos to you, girl, for not backing down. You the GOAT, okay? You're the GOAT. And I just like her anyway. Like, she don't play none of that. She don't play none of that. And y'all know I've been here from Victoria since day one. One, because she bring the entertainment. You can't lie. She does bring the entertainment. But this past episode, she is really getting out of hand and becoming even more delusional. Like, she want to call everybody toxic, all that good stuff. And she the only toxic one. I don't understand. Help me understand. Woo. Child. Woo, child. Anyway, so they have a little cocktail party or whatever, and Victoria was talking to Matt. And while they were talking, Chris Harrison comes in, once again, not knocking on no doors or nothing, just comes straight in, interrupt Victoria and Matt conversation. 
just to say, Matt, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you for a second, please? Can I talk to you for a second, please? And so, Matt and Chris Harrison, they go out to the front of the mansion, hotel, resort, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And Chris, Chris Harrison let Matt know that, you know, we got five girls coming. We got some girls for you, all that kind of stuff. At this point, Matt, like, what? What? You know, I already got girls in the house. What's going on? So, the girls come out, y'all. I'm not going to talk about all the girls because it's only a few a few of them that caught my attention. And I'm going to start with Brittany. So, Brittany hops straight, straight out the limo and gives Matt a kiss. So, I'm looking at Brittany like, Girl, what is you doing? You just met this man not even five seconds and you already putting your tongue down his throat. That is not ladylike. I don't care. Like, girl, why? I don't understand. I don't understand. Can, can y'all help me understand? Because I don't. You just met this man for three seconds and your tongue already down his throat. That was a red flag to me. I'm sorry. Brittany, I can't get with it. I cannot get with it. The other girl that came out the limo was Michelle Obama. Y'all. She did catch my attention. Michelle Obama, she was classy. She was beautiful. You could tell that she was sweet. She had like this positive vibe around her. Like, Michelle Obama, I'm so glad to see you, girl. I'm so glad to see you, Michelle. Michelle, yes, Michelle Obama. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to watch you this season, Michelle Obama. Woo, y'all. And the other girl was Catalina. I really didn't see her much this episode, but she only caught my attention because she came out with a crown and I just knew, I knew Victoria was going to have a fit. I just knew it. And Victoria, she done took the girl crown, put it on her head, took the girl crown, put it on the table. Victoria was just, woo child. She, she was really, really acting a mess, a hot mess this episode. And I'm usually here for it, but I wasn't here for it this time. Not this time. So, the, the original girls are upset because they feel like their time is getting stolen and they don't have enough time. Y'all, oh geez, what are y'all doing? Why are y'all getting so upset? You here for this man, go fight for this man. Can't nobody take their time? Go, you go make some time. You go make some time. Once you make some time, then you will have some time. Y'all always just sit in the confessionals. Oh, I didn't get any time with Matt this week. Oh, I can't. I just, this is becoming too hard. These new girls coming in and getting more time than I had. And I just like, stop the whining. Stop the whining. Because y'all always in confessionals. Always telling the group how you don't got no time and all that good stuff. But you don't want to go make time for him. So I, I'm not feeling sorry for him. I'm not. Y'all need to step up. Step up. Please step up. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear no complaining. No more. No more. All right. And so, y'all, they had a rose ceremony, and I am so surprised that Matt chose, what, four out of the five girls, the five new girls that came? Like, Matt. I was highly like pissed for real. Like I didn't understand that. I can understand maybe two or three that you might like, but dang, four out of the five, Matt. Do you not like any of the OGs here? What's going on, Maddie? Matt, what's going on? He literally chose four out of the five, and I'm so upset that he sent my girl home. I can't even think of her name. I can't think of her name, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. Like, how you gonna say she made you feel at home? But you sent her home. I don't understand. She made you feel at home, but you sent her home. And this was the first episode. I'm gonna put her, I'm gonna put her picture up here because I, I can't remember her name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. All right, so Anna, y'all, <laughs> y'all, Anna, woo child. I don't know where this bully and Anna came, came from, but Victoria then rubbed off on my old girl, Anna. Anna. You is not slick. And yes, I'm gonna say is. You is not slick. 
for talking to Victoria spreading those rumors. You're not slick. I know what you're doing. I see straight through you. I see straight through you. Come on now. The only reason why you told Victoria that rumor about Britney is because you felt like Victoria was going to stir up some stuff, which she did. Which she did. You felt like she was going to stir up some stuff. That's why you did it. That's why you did it. And you know how, how, how crazy Victoria is. You know it. You know it. And you just do it anyway. And you know what you're doing. Girl, I saw straight through that when I saw it. You should just, you should just be ashamed. You should just be ashamed of yourself. I can't get with it at all. At all. I cannot get with it. And so, Anna talks about Brittany talking about some. This is this what she be looking like. Because her teeth and stuff. Or she had dentist on top like I've heard a lot of rumors about the girl. What girl, Anna? Brittany. I've heard a lot of rumors about Brittany. That she's an uh that she's an escort and that she hangs out with rich men and uh, the girl she gets around from the rumors I heard. Girl! Keyword. Keyword! Rumors! Rumors! That means that it's more than likely not true, so why are you spreading it? Now, one time did you say that this was a fact? Not one time. Baby girl, Anna, get it together. The girl. <sighs> the girl. That's how she talks, y'all. I'm sorry for making that face, but that's how she talks, and I'm gonna need her to <laughs> I'm gonna need her to stop it. I'm gonna need her to stop it. So, Michelle Obama and Matt go on a date. And y'all, I am really surprised and shocked about the chemistry that they had. And it was real deep and real. And I really felt it through the screen. Like, he, he was just so happy and jolly and giggly. And they got serious. And they have a lot of things in common. Michelle Obama. I mean, it's Michelle Obama. <laughs> it's Michelle Obama. Why wouldn't Matt be intrigued by her? It's Michelle Obama. So, I just, I just, I actually like them together. I feel like she's a very good fit for Matt if he decides to choose her at the end of this and make him, make her his wife. Had to get that right. So, y'all... I'm gonna be done with this video because the rest is history. It's just about bullying and Victoria and Katie snitching and it's just a lot y'all. And so I'm just gonna be done with this and I'm gonna just leave it off on a positive note with Michelle Obama and Maddie Mack. Okay, Maddie Mack and Michelle Obama, I'm here for y'all. I love y'all right now. Keep up the good chemistry and I'm here. All right guys. If you have not hit that subscribe button in the beginning, please hit that subscribe button now. Help us sister out, okay? I'm giving these videos to y'all every week. Help us sister out. Y'all watching it but not subscribing to it. Come on, help me, please. Please, help me, help me. All right, subscribe to this channel, comment, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.